Ladies and gentlemen, today I'm going to be talking about my wishes for the next Call of Duty, like Call of Duty 2020, whether it's going to be called Cold War or Black Ops 5 or whatever it's going to be called, like Red Door, I think was one of the leaks. Whatever it's going to be called, this is going to be my wish list for that game. So I can imagine that as soon as this video is done, I'm going to be thinking of more ideas. But I have a couple that I really think need to be in the next call of duty for it to be the best so the things that like that are obviously going to happen Treyarch is it's Treyarch game so it's going to be like a colorful game which is what we love to see love to see a colorful game just because i mean so like modern warfare doesn't look like ugly necessarily but i mean look the game is like it's like not colorful you know we want colorful we want colorful stuff and with colorful stuff we definitely want colorful like camos we need better camos that's like the that's the big thing. Colorful camos. We want the camos to be wild. Oh, I still have my kill streaks on from when I did that that sniper video. I forgot to change my kill streaks back, but that's whatever. So yeah, colorful colorful camos. I mean, I know that sounds like so silly, but think about it. I mean, Damascus in this game for the oh crap, Damascus for this game for the grind that you have to do. The camos is like aren't that great. I mean, Damascus is not that great. Obsidian, the grind you have to do for Obsidian. Sure, it's like. I guess they were going for like a simple thing, but it's like, it's just black. So camos, like unlockable camels, I guess like purchasable camos. Another thing that would have made like this game great is like if you bought a camo pack, then you can just use it on all your guns. Like if I, like when I bought that Burger Town P90, if I could just use that on all my guns, that'd be great. I don't know why that's not a thing, but it is what it is. But this is not a video on me knocking Modern Warfare. This is just me, my wishes for the next one. The biggest, I would say, like, the, the next thing on the list, these aren't actually in order, because if they were, I guess the number one thing that I, like, need to have for the next Call of Duty to be my favorite Call of Duty of all time is it has to have, a like, a CDL ranked playlist at launch. Like, no, no waiting months afterwards, no waiting, like, until the year's, like, almost over, like Black Ops 4 did. None of that. The, see, the has to be a CDL ranked playlist that comes out at launch, and it has to have a real rank system, not like our CDL playlist. It has to have like a CSGO or a Valorant or even the Black Ops 2 League play rank system. Like, I don't understand. It's 2020. Like, Activision owns Call of Duty. Why can't they get a real working rank playlist? Now, I know that like they might have issues with the rank playlist because they don't know like what the third game mode is going to be or whatever because they always are. They never know what the third game mode is going to be right away. Even though it seems like they already knew, like, know what it's going to be before we know. But, I mean, if you have to, just make it a hard point in search, like, at the beginning. Like, we don't care. Just give us a ranked playlist. You know what I'm saying? We don't have to have all three. We just want a legit league play. I mean, I would even take, like, a search and destroy only league play if I have to. Or a hard point only league play. Just give me a league play. Oh, 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 oh. Dang it. That freaking C4. Wait, what killed me there? Oh, it wasn't the C4. It was a headshot that got me. Next thing. This is like a huge, huge... This is an absolute must. We need prestiges back. I mean, I I see what Modern Warfare is going for with the level 155. And I understand that I'm like probably in the minority of people who hit 155 like every single se season. And I hit it fast because I play a lot of Call of Duty. I'm sure there's like most players. I mean, my guess would be like that over half the Call of Duty base like doesn't actually even hit 155 at the end of the season. But like I should be rewarded. I should be able to prestige. I want to show off my prestige. Like I don't understand why they would take out the core, the core prestige system. Like I like to be able to, there's only been one Call of Duty ever. I don't remember what Call of Duty it was. I think it was Ghost, where I just didn't prestige. Every other Call of Duty, I try to hit max prestige, and I I mean, I usually do for the most part. My favorite one was in Black Ops 3, where after you hit max prestige, you just kept going to level 1,000. Like, that was awesome. Now, I did not hit level 1,000 in that game, but that's even better because, like, that grind was so hard that the, like, people who did hit level 1,000, they didn't hit it towards the end of the game, you know? Like, you're constantly grinding. Like, right now, I'm level 155. There's still, like, a little under a month left in this season. Like, what do I do for the next month, you know? Like, they just came out with the new gunfight tournament system where your reward is experience points. I don't need experience points because i can't prestige okay uh, okay who wants the smoke you want the smoke uh next thing on the list would have to be i mean this is kind of i guess we can tie those two in together hex says this all the time from the owner of chicago huntsman which i love this idea make it so your rank playlist like your league play rank is showing up next to your actual level in public matches because then that can help the competitive community grow because people are going to want to know what that icon is i'm not going to go into detail on that though if you don't know what that is you can 
Like you probably don't play competitive. Because if you play competitive, you probably listen to what Hex says. I mean, that guy that guy knows what he's talking about. Speaking of competitive, while we're on the subject of competitive again, one thing I would love to see is so for the third game mode, I liked Blitz for like competitive. I like playing Blitz. I like watching Blitz. I know a lot of people don't like Blitz, so that's probably not gonna happen. But a really good idea I heard watching listening to the best of three podcast was a rally system CTF. Because basically the best uh, game modes for competitive are game modes where at literally any moment you can come back and still win no matter how far down you are no matter what you can always come back and win and so a rally point ctf would play like this you have your standard ctf if the timer hits zero and you have the flag out then you keep going and then after you score the flag then the game will give you like a five second like extra time limit added to the game so where you can like rally scoring so if you're go if you go down 0 to 7 and the timer hits zero but you have the flag out you could still technically win but you would have to go on a monstrosity of a rally to do that and i think that that would be so epic like it would be fun like to watch it'd be like an insane comeback and it would make it so the pros like aren't getting bored because they're like oh like we won this game eight minutes ago it'd be like literally at any second these guys can hit a rally and come back and win the next one is like kind of already all but confirmed but that is the score streaks so i know that that was like leaked but that's not like 100 percent confirmed yet unless, until the developers tell us so i'm just gonna put it on my list i want score streaks to come back and not only do i want score streaks to come back because point man in this game is stupid like you have to do like you have to use one of your perk slots for it to be points like that's stupid but i want everything to be points and then i also want the ability like i like the freedom in your kill streaks and what, what i mean by freedom is two things one which I don't think you could do this in, game, in this game, but if you could, and I just don't know about it, I'm like 99% sure you can't though. But I want to be able to only select one or two kill streaks. So like, let's say I only like, let's say one of my friends is going for a high kill like search game. Like we're going for like a 30 kill search game. We do that a lot. Like we go for those. I've only had 29s and 27s. Unfortunately, I haven't hit the 30 bomb yet. Uh, but imagine if I could like only run a uav and then as soon as my uav as soon as i earned it i would reset so that i can another earn another uav i wouldn't have to die for it and then the other thing is like i was saying like not that i for they loop so when i get my max kill streaks in this game i know like when you get your max kill streaks you can't start up another kill streak chain until you die which is silly like i'm on another kill streak like let me let me loop that so that's i would want like the freedom in my kill streaks get off my a flag come on boys what do you what do you think in here you you don't want that you don't want this smoke i'm like loot i'm shredding with this mp7 right now i just put together like a random class if you want to know i'm using like the i think i'm using the compensator commando foregrip stippled no stock and i think i might be using the side of hand let's just check oh the fss swat no not the commentator fss swat commander yeah here we go here it is i only have two more things that i can think of or that i have like written down here once again i said like like i was saying as soon as this video ends then i'm definitely gonna be thinking of some more oh man i got thermited i tried to run around the corner so this one's like a pretty like this one's kind of like a small one but if it if it happens, then I would, you know, I'm. This is what, I, like, this is my wish list to make it so the best Call of Duty in my eyes ever. And so, what that would have to be is the ability to break right shields. Like in this game, right shields are insanely overpowered. It's the first time I'm pretty sure where the right shields are actually curved a little bit. Like they're bigger right shields than they've ever been. And everyone like has overkill because there's not like good perks in perk two slot besides ghost and overkill. So there's you have a 50% chance of half the, like you have there's a big chance that half the enemy team's running overkill instead of ghost because no one's gonna run freaking hardline or point man in public matches anyway i want the ability to break the right shield like if i am shooting an entire magazine at you while you're just walking towards me why is the glass not breaking like it doesn't have to break fast because you know if it breaks fast then the right shield becomes completely useless if there's a right shield i should be able to break it at a reasonable rate i don't know what that rate is now that's you know the developers know better than i do about like what the rate could be for that and like how many people need is there another guy here oh he was laying down freaking laying on his belly the developers know more than i do like what that rate could be but like they should be able to implement what that rate could be oh 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 and then the final most important thing if you have watched any of my streams ever you know what this is going to be you're probably surprised i haven't said it yet but a real mini map, please. Now I know that that's also like kind of been leaked and is going to be happening, but we have to have a real mini map. 
We, we don't want this mumbo jumbo. Like, I know that they said there's gonna be a compass too. I don't care about the compass. No one looks at the compass. This here's the problem with the compass. If someone's behind you on the mini map, then your compass is gonna show them on the right side or the left side. There's not gonna show them behind you. So you have to circle around and figure out where the guy is on the compass. There should be a real mini map because we're playing Call of Duty. We're not actually in war. That is gonna do it for today's video for my Call of Duty 2020 wishes. Here is today's class that I was using. If you wanna use it, nothing special. I was just messing around before I made the video. Ever since the MP5 got nerfed, I just wanted to uh, just try out some new guns. And honestly, this MP7 was kinda na like nasty. I was gonna say nice and nasty, and I said nas. So that's that. Thank you guys for stopping by. Guys, I just wanna remind you that if you want some Twiz Clan merch, if you go to the description down below, you can see the Twiz Clan. I have one link that'll bring you to all the Twiz Clan links. You can go to the Teespring's website and you can use code Rudy at checkout for 5% off. You can also, if you want, you know what I'm saying, support me by liking and subscribing. We are trying to hit 500 subs by the end of July. I I had my doubts at the beginning of July, but we are, we are rapidly growing and I honestly feel like we can do it. And let me give you guys a little something, something. If you subscribe now, then one day, if we hit it big, you can say I was one of the first 500 subscribers on Rudy Patootie's channel. You can say that. You can get it tattooed on your arm if you want to. But that's going to do it for today's video. Thank you guys for stopping by. As soon as this video is over, I'm probably going to think of more ideas that I want. Just come by my streams. My streams are, like, really crazy because I can only stream when my wife is asleep or working. So, if you, I, I stream here on YouTube, though. So, if you just subscribe to the YouTube channel and you have notifications on, you'll know when I go live. And I'll see you guys all in the next video. Goodbye.